So you have um, the guy front, and this is about honor and good luck. Um, and then the dragon, this is about having strength and inner wisdom. And then the raven, you could be getting some sort of message, maybe some news that you've been waiting for. Um, this is also a sense of maybe getting over some a dark period of time, um, you know, going through different phases. And then um, the key, so like locked doors now can be open for you. So things that were difficult for you in the past, they're now being able to open and you can start something new. Um, the stars is at the bottom and this is about starting a journey of really being guided towards something new with the stars. At the top of the deck, you have the Sphinx. So really choosing carefully. So maybe this is a message for you to somehow see things clearly, really following your, your intuition as far as where it's going to take you. That's going to be a better direction for you. And perhaps you've had some kind of blockages with the key, um, not being able to move ahead with certain things. So maybe now things are shifting where things are opening up for you and you that, that lets you head towards a new direction is what I'm feeling here for you. So th let's see what these mean for you. Welcome. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys had a good Mother's Day yesterday. Um, Spirit, I would like to know what is Christ Griffin? Griffin. Honor and good luck. What does this mean, Griffin? Griffin. So being good to others, being good and will bring you honor. Um, Nine of Cups and the Four of Swords. So this is definitely like it, it, what I feel it's like your karma is being played back for you as far as good and positive things are coming in for you because you've sent out good and positive things to other people if that makes sense so I definitely do feel with the nine of cups this is a wish fulfillment coming in for you perhaps staying ahead of the curve as far as like not trying to um you know get too dark about things being more light and airy, definitely a sense of healing over something with the with the four swords, um, maybe ending bad luck because the the nine of cups is very much about luck and getting your wishes and the four swords. I feel it's very much like um, maybe your bad luck is over. That's what I feel, and that's definitely what the honor and good luck means. It's it's you're being protected. It's very much um, something where because you've been positive about a situation towards other people or maybe just thinking of bright things within your environment things are changing for you okay um what is the four of swords please what's the four of swords let's see put my glasses on four of swords what does this mean okay so you have um the hierophant so the four of swords with the hierophant it's somewhat like um putting something to rest maybe manifesting something some kind of change allowing yourself to go through a change but having a sense of knowing and spirituality surrounding you so it's very much things that are like um morals maybe you're listening to your morals which is really heading towards a different direction as far as like what how can i say it like if you were negative negatively thinking about something it's like you draw in more negativity towards you but it's like you put a stop to thinking negative and it's changed something about you. You're, you're, you're filling yourself with the different wisdom, different knowledge. That's what I feel is happening for you. And, and it's, in a sense, I feel you're changing. Maybe you were um, attracting, like you were attracting negative things. And now it's almost like you're attracting positivity and that's a change. Maybe you're listening to your, your higher self. You could be finding out more about spirituality and manifestation. The Four of Swords could definitely be, definitely be a card about manifestation, resting, meditating, um, really having a sense of protection, perhaps healing. Maybe you've had some kind of difficult thing happen to you that it, it's turned you on to spirituality. And that's very much what the Hierophant is saying. You've had some kind of change come in for you that is changing perhaps the way you think, which is bringing you your, your good luck, your your wishes. What is the Nine of Swords? Um, sorry, Nine of Cups. So Nine of Cups, the Seven of Cups. So this is giving you an opportunity 
opportunity for something new uh, from a place that maybe you couldn't go forward definitely it's like now something's opened up for you with the seven of cups and i was going to ask what the seven of cups means and you got the justice card okay justice and then you got the temperance and the six of wands and the two of swords so you're very much healing about something you're feeling more balanced which is definitely getting you out of a negative headspace maybe a negative pattern that you've been in it could be a situation at work it could be a situation at home maybe even with your lover okay um so there's something here that you're you're working things out in your head different which are making you be more positive i feel um so with the, the justice card, maybe this is something dealing to with ending something, divorcing somebody, um, ending a karmic cycle. If you've been in a bad karmic cycle for a long time, there's definitely a sense of putting something to rest. These Both of these cards, the temperance and the justice, are about creating balance within yourself. Maybe balance within thinking and then balance within emotion with the temperance card. So... I feel overall you're becoming more whole, which is going to give you a sense of of uh, success uh, with the Six of Swords and really seeing things clearly, not really seeing um, with blinders on, you know, not not being fogged in and maybe indecisive. I feel like this is you putting all these things to rest, which is giving you a sense of good luck, uh, prosperity, um, definitely abundance. Maybe just feeling clear-headed, okay? Where you're able to make better choices for you. Which I definitely do feel it's a decision that you want to take. And it's definitely maybe getting yourself out of a hard space. And now you're having victory and success, okay? Um, definitely, definitely, that's what I feel here with this, the Six of Wands. Is um, getting out of something that you've been struggling with for however long it's been for you. I definitely do feel you're ending some kind of cycle there, okay? What is the dragon? So this is strength and wisdom. Um, what is the strength and wi wisdom that they are acquiring? So you got the emperor. This is very much where you're taking control of your life. Um, you're very much leaving that ten of swords energy. And maybe this is something that you you maybe didn't have the courage to do, Um there you got the judgment as well so it, it's like there's something that maybe you held on to for a long time with the ten of swords it, and it, de it definitely was a sense of um betrayal and sadness not really being able to move whatever that was for you it's like maybe you were just in a negative headspace but i feel that you're rushing out of it and the reason you're rushing out of it is because the, the justice card you somehow want to release it maybe this is allowing yourself to be going through an um like um awakening or just following your intuition your knowledge the things that guide you you know without asking anybody else because this is you controlling the situation where before maybe you lost hold of some kind of situation and it really made you feel somewhat confused is what i feel here so I feel like the, the confusion is somewhat leveling off as far as with the temperance and the um, the justice right there. It's bringing you a sense of, of victory. Um, what is the heartbreak for with the Ten of Swords? What is this betrayal? You definitely either been backstabbed or really, maybe I feel it's more than one time. I feel like it's definitely more than one time that you've been maybe struggling with something. So see, you've been doing it for a long time. With the Knight of Pentacles, this is a cycle that you've you've gone through. Um, Page of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. So maybe this is something that you you definitely had no no luck, or maybe you just didn't have that sense of um, clear minded. Like your your mind was fogged. Um, you just couldn't think clearly for some time. And your passion was really beat. It was gone. It's almost like everything was just not growing for you. Whether this is relationships, whether this is love, whether this is like family, um, uh, business, you know, whatever that is for you. It's almost as if you're, you're really 
took a long time to maybe learn how to get out of that. Have patience with yourself to move on and learn how. I feel you've learned how to take control of your life. Um, what is what is this? The Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. So Knight of Swords is the devil. Um, and this is where you're taking some kind of measures on addictive behavior, some kind of codependencies here. It could be something that maybe you were doing too much of or maybe not enough of. Maybe staying in your head too much and, and not really focusing on anything else. But maybe sadness, depression or those things that just were not going good for you. But I definitely do feel it's like you're waking up to these. You're somewhat ready to release these things to allow yourself to go into a new direction. For some of you, you could be dealing with your children. Uh, you have two pages that came out together. Um, it could definitely be maybe you would, you know, something with your kids, something happened with your kids or maybe you know it depends on if you're married with somebody or somebody's trying to keep your kids from you or um maybe you're just staying there for your kids um meaning you're staying in a, maybe an unhealthy marriage for your kids um something like this is what i feel here what is the devil i want to know what is this devil and it's almost like you got to take action towards this devil but what is the devil please okay so it is strength and then the King of Cups, having love for yourself. So perhaps those pages could definitely be for some of you. If it isn't your kids, it's you having a new beginning. As far as definitely something in your luck, you know, with your pentacles, with your money. Maybe you're coming out of a loss of, of money, you know. And now it, there's a sense of, okay, I'm going to be okay. Everything's going to work out. I got my feelings together. Maybe this is you just balancing out your feelings, okay. This definitely could be you. It could be somebody else in your family. So take it as it resonates, guys. Because I definitely do feel there's um, a sense of waking up to how you can change something here for you. Um, and really get yourself to have a new beginning. Perhaps really having some kind of um, some kind of leadership maybe spark up for you to, to do something different. To take action in a different way. The, the strength card is very much about having some kind of healing. It could be some kind of healing that you had to go through, which I do feel with the four of swords. Maybe that's you've been down for a while, you know, you're coming back stronger, I feel. And I do feel with the strength, it's very much having to tame maybe those inner demons with the, with the devil. Um, you know, if it isn't that you're codependent on drugs or other people it just could be that your mindset just keeps you in a place where you just can't move forward you know so it, it can be very tricky you have to look at your situation whether or not it's something that you're doing to yourself or someone else is doing to you but here i feel someone has kept themselves maybe feeling like they couldn't move okay what is the raven darkness looms on the horizon but I, I definitely get, got that as a message card. Like you're getting some kind of message. Maybe this is telling you to be aware of something that, um, you know, maybe you're trying to do something and it could, you could be guiding to something that could be harmful for you. Okay, but let's see what these are. So you got the lovers, you got the ten of, ten of cups and the two of pentacles. So what is, what is looming in the horizon that is, is darkness? Is that, oh my God, you got to make a choice between love. What's going to make you happy? Look at that. You got the lover's card. Got the lovers. Got the ten of cups. And then you got the two of pentacles. So is this you trying to decide between families? Trying to decide between what's going to make you happy? Maybe something that's long, 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 long standing. Um, you know, maybe this is you choosing to let go of someone else. So you can have the new person in your life. Uh, this definitely could be where maybe you're picking between two jobs, um, even moving, even moving to go work somewhere, I feel, um, as if maybe you've been given a job in a, a, like an outer state, whether you want to move. Um, but I, I feel like for some of you, it's definitely pe picking between partners um, and really realizing, oh my God, you got to go through some hard times, some dark times to get to that happy especially if you have two people that
that you're you're um dealing with okay um especially with the devil being there you could be stuck with the codependent person and we saw the emperor as well so maybe this is you trying to somewhat um come out of maybe a controlling situation you know abusive people are not good to stay in because they do somewhat make you somewhat feel belittled and confused and not being able to think clearly, you know? I feel like that's what it is. You got the hangman at the bottom. Um, so there's really a sense of not knowing which way to go. Um, and then there is that moon. See, I was feeling that sense of confusion. There, There's almost as if um, you just don't know. The best way I can describe those cards with that one, it's whoever this is, they know um, they're going to rock the boat to be able to get to the happy. And maybe this is why they're holding back from it. Um, uh, let's see, what is the lovers? So the lovers is six of swords. So are you leaving something difficult to come to your lover? Are you making that choice? What is the ten of cups? What is the 10? Oh, okay. One came out as well. Let's see. So you have the three of pentacles. You're working on how to get out of this. How do I get myself strong enough, especially with the, the strength card? How do I get this, this strength to do this? Okay. What's the 10 of cups? What's the 10 of cups? Um, you want a new beginning? You want to start over? This is definitely something that has been long term or something that you've been in, but it's almost as if maybe it's reached the capacity you've reached the, the the it's like you can't go any further you want to start over um what is the two of pentacles what's the two of pentacles here two of pentacles maybe that's why we saw the justice right here and the temperance you're healing enough to make a decision to make your dreams come true as far as maybe deciding to divorce somebody because i do feel that maybe it's somebody who's trying to divorce someone two of pentacles you got let's see the star card you got the star card the nine of pentacles the five of swords and the five five of wands so it's almost as if spirit is trying to guide you to the success that's going to make you happy with the nine of pentacles um but it's almost as if either you have controlling situations happening with the five of swords and the five of wands you got two fives this is definitely about changing. You got the Hierophant, with, which is a five, and then these two fives. So five, five, five. This is telling you that major changes are coming into your life, okay? So prepare for yourself. The Raven is telling you, you're going to go through a very difficult time, whatever the situation is for you, but everything's going to work out okay. You see, you got the star guiding you. This is your spirit, your guide, your divine conscience sending you in the right direction. So don't worry about the, these two conflicts, these things that are holding you back. You definitely have to surrender something here. With the justice card, it's very much you surrendering to whether people are causing this kind of conflict for you. And you just got to turn your back in order to change it. Even if it is something that's been long standing. Um, you know, I feel like it's very much where maybe, you know, it's been hard, um, but it's hard to leave this person maybe because of your children. I feel like that is strong for some of you guys, um, but you have to think about your children. How healthy is your home if you're not in a good relationship with someone else? Okay. Um, but for some of you, if it's not kids, it's, it's you learning how to take this role to to change things for yourself, to let go and walk away from some kind of conflict. Because you definitely, your cards are showing this. This is what you want. You want something that will help you to perhaps give you that happiness. Um, and you you do have to pick between two. I definitely feel that's what they're saying. So maybe this is two homes that you have to decide from. This definitely could be two jobs or maybe families. You got to pick between families. But I do feel it's about a lover. I feel it's about some sort of lover that's going to give you success for some of you. Okay. And it's definitely where spirit is guiding you. And the good thing about it is that the the key is saying locked doors were closed and now they're open. And you got the seven of cups here as well, which is telling you early on, 
whatever you're putting to rest, however you're starting to think more positive, you're allowing yourself that good luck to come in, okay? What is the key? What is the key for the viewer? What is the key? This could be your lover. This could be you guys. You have to take it as it resonates. So the High Priestess, the Queen of Swords. Ooh, wow. The Ten. I got to chills. The ten of, ten of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. So this is where you're planning to an escape you see and you could not escape this person before i i feel that um it's a person that you're trying to escape and with the the moon um not the moon i'm sorry the high priestess and the queen of swords this is where you know this you you have a new knowledge now with the high priestess you you're you're ready to listen to it you're ready to hear truth. You weren't ready to hear the truth before um, because you felt you felt somewhat obligated and you felt like you had to work at it, work at it, work at it. And it's almost as if you you've read you reached it. I felt it with the ten ten of cups immediately. It's like, yeah, it's a ten and it's happy and it's everything you want. But it's almost like it's met it's met the maximum capacity. It can't go any longer. You can't continue to work on something that you feel obligated or pushed into to staying in or something that is just beating you down. Okay? So there's truth and knowledge here, and you didn't want to hear this truth before. I feel that you're now hearing the truth with the high priestess and the queen of swords. You, the truth is what's was blocking you before and now it's almost like you've opened the door you've opened that little pandora's box and now things are coming out and you can't put them back in that's what i feel so um let's see i want to know it, it, and it's almost like you've been working with somebody and it's just not working anymore it's what i feel okay what is the high priestess here what's the high priestess with the key so the High Priestess is um, the Six of Cups. You want to return to happy. You know what is going to make you happy. What is the Queen of Swords? You know the truth now. Okay, and then so the the the, the truth that you know is that you got to take a new path to create this happy with the Six of Cups. Okay, um, you were happier before in the past. I think that you're trying to leech to reach a level of happiness that you don't have right now. I don't think you've had it for a long time. This definitely could be going back to your hometown. If you're away from your hometown, this I feel could be you returning to your lover or maybe a lover returning to you. This is also where you're loving yourself enough to take yourself back to a, ha a happy time. I'm taking back control of your life. So you have to take it as it resonates, but I definitely heard it when I saw the Queen of Swords and the High Priestess. You're ready to hear the truth now. You're, that's why the door is opening for you now. It, it, you didn't want to hear it before. You were obligated and you were obligated to keep trying to fix something that isn't working for you. And my goodness, have we heard that story many times, but it's almost as if it's taken. We see the Knight of Pentacles, this person been trying. They've been trying for a long time to get to get the show back on the right on the right direction it, it's very frustrating and somewhat um almost like they feel a, a sense of um almost i want to say like they feel a sense of stu stupidity like thinking that they kept working at something that doesn't work um i'm not calling anybody stupid i'm not saying that i'm just saying this person f feels they have this energy of almost like you know why was i so dumb to do this why did i keep doing this i'm the one that kept somewhat controlling um my own self from moving forward when they knew they they needed to move forward okay and there's that king of swords you got some kind of truth you see there's definitely that that, that sort of um awakening that okay I, I got it now I understand what people have told me. That's what they said. They understand what people have told them. So maybe they've had advice to let go of this. You know, it, it, maybe people were telling them, let go of this. Why do you keep yourself like this? Five of wands and ten of wands. Why do you do this? Because they just said, I, I listened to other people. Like, I guess they weren't taking other people's advice. That's what I can hear. Um, I want to know, how can I end the story for today? How can I end the story for today, guys? five of cups and the three of cups 
So being able to rejoice after having a lot of uh, regrets, a lot of maybe depression, a lot of um, just worrying about what you did wrong in the past. You, you're you're learning to walk away from that and rejoice and somewhat be happy. This could be reunion for some of you as well, coming back together with somebody. Um, what else can you show me as their future? Okay, so two of pentacles balancing out. See, he's walking away from something that isn't stable. He's balancing out. And over here, you were, you were juggling between the two. Okay, um, okay, let's see. So the Queen of Swords, again, truth and clarity, which is allowing you to move in the better direction. The Eight of Pentacles working and then really learning, really learning, uh, really um, taking some kind of passion, starting over something with something with passion, okay? You got the Six of Swords again, really walking away from something. And the, the ones that came out right here are... The Nine of Wands, really leaving somebody, someone, you're leaving someone, or it's almost as if, if it's not a person, it's it's a job or a family or something like that. Nine of Cups, you started with Nine of Cups up here, the Nine, uh, nine of Pentacles and the Lover's card. So you got the Lover's twice, and it's almost dittering itself for you. Um, you know, you're going to be okay. They, they're saying... You're gonna be okay. You're gonna get what you what you need. Okay, um, so don't fret and beat up on yourself if you've done a lot of mistakes, because that's what's been holding you back. Things that you keep thinking about and you think that you can't move forward, but you really can. So whatever that is for you, you will know. Okay, um, let's see there. What is the message of of uh, what's the words of?